Hello, this is Dr. Do again. This video is outside of medicine. Continue to read the Iliad by Homer. I'm going to continue to read. Not a thought for the many times I saved his son, Heracles, worked to death by the labor of Eurystheus. How he would whine to the high skies, till Father Zeus would rush me down from the clouds to save his life. If only I had foreseen all this, I and my cunning that day, Eurystheus, sent him down to death. To the Lord who guards the gates, to drag up from the dark wood world the hound of grisly death, he would never have fled the steep, cascading stakes. But Zeus hates me now. He fulfills the plans of Thetis, who cupped his chain in her hand and kissed his knees, begging Zeus to exalt Achilles, scorch of cities. But the day will come when Father, when, where, well I know, calls me his darling grey-eyed girl again. So now you harness the racing team for us while I go into the house of storming Zeus and buckle on my gear and arm for combat. Now I will see if Hector, for all his flashing helmet, leaps for joy when the two of us come, blazing forth on the pathways of battle, or one of his children too will gloat the dogs and the birds with his fat and flesh brought down in blood against our jib ships. The white-armed goddess Hera could not resist Hera, queen of gods, daughter of giant Cronus, launched the work, harnessed the golden bridal team, while Athena, child of Zeus, whose shield is thunder, let him fall her supple robe at the father's threshold. Rich brocade, stitched with her own hands labor, donned the battle shirt of the lord of lightning, buckled her breastplate geared for wrenching wall, then onto the flaming chariot's palace set her feet and seized her spear, weighted, heavy and massive shaft, she wheels to break the battle lines of heroes, the mighty father's daughter storm against. A crack of the whip, the goddess Hera lashed the steam and all on their own force, the gates of heaven thundered open kept by the seasons, guards by the vaulting sky, and Olympus heights empowered to spread the massing clouds, or close them round once more, and straight through the great gates she drove the team. But as Father Zeus caught sight of them from Ida, the god broke into a sudden rage and summoned Ares to run a message, on with a rush of golden wings. Quick on your way now, Iris, shear the wind, turn them on, do not let them engage me here. What an indignity for us to death, to clashing arms. I tell you this, and I will fulfill it too. I will remain their research for them, right beneath their yokes. And those two goddesses, I will hurl them from their chariots, smash their cars, and not once in the course of ten, slow wheeling years. Will they heal the wounds my lightning bolt rips open, so that the grey-eyed girl of mine may learn what it means to fight against her father. But with Hera, though, I'm not so outraged. So, Erit, it's always her way to thought my will, whatever I command. So he thundered, and Eris ran his message, racing with Gale falls away from the peaks of Ida, up to steep Olympus, cleft and craggy. There, at the outer gates, she met them face to face and blocked their path, sounding Zeus' orders. Where are you rushing now? What is the madness blazing in your hearts? Zeus forbid you to fight for Achilles' armies. Here is a father's threat. He will fulfill it too. He will maim your research for you, right beneath their yokes and you two goddess. He will hurl you from your chariots, smash your car, and not once in the course of ten, 
slow willing years. Will you heal the wounds his lightning bolt rips open? So you, his grey-eyed girl, may learn what it means to fight against your father. But with Hera, though, he's not so outraged, so irate. It is always your way to thought his will. Whatever Zeus commands, you, you insolent brazen bridge, you really dare to shake the monstrous spear in father's face? And Ares, raising the wind, went we, wavering past, the, and Hera turned to Pallas, calling off the conflict, enough, daughter of Zeus, whose shield is thunder. I cannot let us battle the father any longer, not for mortal man. Men, let one of them die, another live. However, their luck may run. Let Zeus decide the fate of the man of Troy and the man of Argos both. To his deathly heart's content, that is only right. So she complied and turned their racer back, the seasons losing the purebred, sleek man team, tethered them to their stalls and piled down ambrosia, and learned the chariot up against the polished walls, then shimmered in the sun. The goddess themselves sat down on golden settles, mixing with the immortals, Athena and Hera's heart within them dashed. At the same time, Zeus and the father whipped his team and hurtled chariots straight from Ida to Mount Olympus, soon to reach the session of the gods. Quick at Zeus' side, the famous lord of earthquakes freed the team, canted the battle chariots firmly on its base, and wrapped it well with the heavy canvas shroud. Thunders Zeus himself assumed his golden throne. As the massive range of Olympus shook beneath his feet, those two alone, Athena and Hera set apart from Zeus, not a word would they send this way, not a question, but the father knew their feelings deep within his heart and mocked them harshly. Why so crushed, Athena, Hera? Not overly tired? I trust from all your efforts there in glorious battle, slaughtering Trojans, the man you break with all your deathless rage. But I, with my courage, my hands never conquered, for all their force, not all the gods on Olympus Heights could ever turn me back. Ha, but the two of you, long ago, the trembling shook, your glittering limbs, before you could glimpse the horrid work of war. I tell you this, and it would have come to pass, once my lightning had blasted you in your chariots, you could never have returned to Mount Olympus, where the immortals make their home. I'm going to stop here and continue next time. Thank you for watching.